Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to your uh, update on Luna Classic. I actually haven't covered it for two days uh, for, for, well, for two reasons. Yesterday, there were some other coins which I wanted to take a look at a little bit more, unfortunately. Um, but apart from that, Luna Classic has also not moved a lot. Um, you can see Sunday we, we dropped down through this level here at 19,000. It was all expected. And uh, ever since, we've been holding this 100 EMA. Um, so uh, relatively bullish, I guess, but um, in, in the end, still after that bearish breakout through 19,000, um, but also just in making uh, in us making lower lows at this point of time, we're still bullish, right? There are some, uh, or we're still bearish. There are some bullish elements, but yeah. But we'll talk about that. And, uh, and there are some other things I wanted to talk about regarding Luna Classic as well. If we take a look at the volume, it's, uh, it's decent. It's not high, it's, it's not low. Um, and what I always try to do, and most of you know that, is I always uh, try to talk a little bit about the fundamentals of, of Luna Classic. And today, I, um, there, there are supposed to be some proposals, some big proposals coming soon. Um, but there have not been any big proposals ever since the, uh, the signal proposal by Ziggy about repagging to UST. Um, there are some discussions right now on the, on, on the forums of, of Terra or of Luna Classic, but nothing definite yet. So I will keep you updated on that. But uh, for now, there's nothing to update you on. But what I did want to take a look at, and I think that's, uh, that's important and is interesting to know as well, is not the burn tax. I wanted to check that out, but it's not something I wanted to tell you about. Um, but the total value locked of Luna Classic is actually doing fairly well. I mean, it was fairly high when the price was fairly high, which is, uh, well, usual, uh, because the total value locked obviously grows with the price. Um, but apart from that, you can see a, a broader uptrend basically ever since the end of December, which I think is great for the network as well. It's in terms of, uh, in terms of total value locked, if you compare it with other chains, it's still uh, relatively uh, ranked relatively low. But all right, that's, uh, that, that's obviously still what, uh, what uh, Luna Classic has to deal with from, from its history. Um, but apart from that, Luna, or at least Terra, is one of the most, and I believe, and you should, um, you should definitely correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that this is Luna Classic. Um, at least it still shows that as, uh, as, as the main source code. And you can actually see that there is a lot of, uh, a lot of development on that. I'm actually starting to doubt myself quite a bit that this is um, is it that this is the right Terra, um, but all right. I, I still remember from uh, from from a different time when I really had the the right get up, even though that might still be the uh, right get up. That there's still a lot of developer activity on Luna Classic um, or on Terra Classic, we should say. Excuse me. Um, so altogether, I mean, the network is, is doing fairly fine and we have some bullish things coming up as well in February uh, with obviously the Binance burn at the end of the month. And we still have, uh, I mean, there, there still has to be some continuation uh, continuation of the Luna Classic and the USCC repack. Um, so we'll await that until that time. I do think we're more bearish than bullish, as I said in the beginning. And therefore, what I expect is that we'll, we'll slowly, right now this 100 EMA is holding us fairly well. I think we might actually still hold that. I think we'll consolidate. Uh, I don't think we'll be that volatile, but eventually I do think we'll drop down to this level uh, between 17,500 and 17,000. And again, consolidate on top of that. And it's, it's basically waiting for the next, uh, next bullish news for Luna Classic. Um, whether that's about the Binance burn, which, all right, that would be quite long, or whether it's a new proposal or something. So some new news about the USTC repack idea. Um, I do think that at some point we'll, we'll get news like that and that we'll be able to break above 19,000 and, uh, and, and at least get up to 19,500. Whether we'll break that, I'll leave that up to me at that point when we get that bullish momentum, for, but for now it's, it's really just waiting for that momentum. Uh, so yeah, that's my take on Luna Classic for today. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments, but for now, take care and bye.